Okay, what should we do next? All right, so let me think. Right now we have a regular React application. You know, here's our kind of getting started application. So what we need to do, the goal is to start using XReact. So to do that, we need to make a, a change at the root of the application. So let me. Get... So we cannot reuse just diff element in index.html. We say the root for rendering our extract application. Right, exactly. So inside of here, right, that's how React renders, right? So there's an element with an ID, and then over here, right, it renders to that element. It's named here. Mm -hmm. But the way XReact works is that it automatically renders to the root element. To a body element. Yeah, that's what I meant to say, actually, right, to the body element. So, in other words... Everything that we need is only body element, and that's it. Exactly. So I deleted all that. If we look at the running app now, it no longer runs, right? Yeah, because there is no element with a D um, root. Exactly. So that element no longer exists. Okay. So now I need to go into here into index.js file and instead of using just normal React render method, we need to use something specific for XReact. Correct. And that is called launch. So just a launch uh, function that will be used instead of render function. Right. Okay. So let me see here. There we go. So it's called launch. And the syntax, it looks like this. We no longer need this, but we're not quite done. So this will certainly launch our application, but app doesn't know how to render to that, you know, document body. So there's another special React component we need to use called XReact. Okay. And I guess we need to export it from... Um, yeah, from the same package. Right. So then what we, we do is we wrap up this app element with this. And extract element will know how to render in a Doom body. Correct. Okay. So if I save here, it should work. Let's look at the running app. Yeah, now it's running again. So it was broken before, now it's running again. But the good news now, now we're free to use XReact components, you know, anywhere we want in the application. So we could use like grid tree, but maybe we can start with something simpler, like a panel and place everything that we have on our page inside of a panel and add a title, for example. Right. So what I've done is I've already gone to the API docs. So if you go to docs.sencha.com, then there's a drop down that lets you choose XReact. You know, all the various APIs are listed in there. You could also just go to sencha.com and there's a docs link. So inside of here, here's, you know, all those components. So remember when we showed you kitchen sink before, you saw that there are scores of components. So and we can use search to find a panel component. Right. So if you search here for the component you're interested in, You'll be given options here, and then I can just click through and then land on that page. So here we are. And there is a title property that we can use to set a title for our panel. So the way the docs are kind of organized up at the top here, this lists all the attributes available for this given component. These are methods we can run on it. These are events that it fires. At the top of the docs, typically they show, you know, sort of common use cases. So this is sort of describing that you know, some common things you may want to do with the panel or set its title or, you know, whatever. And we're using this title property. So let me go back to our code. So we need to go to here. Now, in my starter app, I had already included this import, right? It, we're not importing anything yet. That's why they're all sort of grayed out here. But what we will be using is panel. So if I say... Uh, so we wrap our foo component with a panel component. Right. So foo is the one thing inside of this panel. And we can set a panel's title just like a normal uh, property, like normal attribute. And we can remove, I guess, all other components, uh, extra components that we are not uh, using currently. Right. So that's it. If I do a save here, I'm just thinking, I guess that's it. So let's go to our running app. And 
There we go. There is another style uh, for the text. Right. So we can tell this is a next React panel because first there's that title bar. Here's the content and the content now uses a different font. So XReact uses SAS variables everywhere basically. So all of these properties are stylable. So the background color here, we can change that. We could change the font weight or font of the title bar or of the content. And we can use also Sencha uh, tools like uh, Simmer to style our XReact application. Yeah. Okay. So what's next? Uh, instead of showing this text, we can show list of albums, but to do this, we need to set up our Spotify uh, account and request uh, all this data. Okay, so that's the next step, is to talk about the Spotify API and authenticating in Spotify.